Mahasthanga is one of the earliest urban archaeological sites so far discovered in Bangladesh. The village Mahasthan in Shibganj Thana of Bogra district contains the remains of an ancient city which was called Pundranagara or Pondravardhanapura in the territory of Pundravardhana. A limestone slab, bearing six lines in Prakrit in Brahmi script, discovered in 1931, dates Mahasthangar to at least the 3rd century BC. The fortified area was in use until the 18th century AD. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Mahasthan means a place that has excellent sanctity and GARH means fort. Mahasthan was first mentioned in a Sanskrit text of the 13th century entitled Valaushrita. It is also mentioned in an anonymous text Karatoya Mahatmya, circumstantially placed in 12th-13th century. The same text also mentions two more names to mean the same place, Pundrakshetra, land of the Pundras, and Pundranagara, city of the Pundras. In 1685, an administrative decree mentioned the place as Mastingar, a mixture of Sanskrit and Persian meaning fortified place of an auspicious personage. Subsequent discoveries have confirmed that the earlier name was Pundranagara or Pondravardhanapura, and that the present name of Mahasthangar is of later origin. Geography <laughs> 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 Mahasthangar Pundranagar, the ancient capital of Pundravardhana is located 11 km miles north of Bogra on the Bogra-Rangpur Highway, with a feeder road running along the eastern side of the ramparts of the citadel for 1.5 km leading to Jahajgata and Site Museum. Buses are available for Bogra from Dhaka and take four and a half hours for the journey via Bungabundu Jamuna Bridge across the Jamuna River. Buses are available from Bogra to Mahasthangar. Rickshaws are available for local movement. Hired transport is available at Dhaka, Bogra. Accommodation is available at Bogra. When traveling in a hired car, one can return to Dhaka the same day, unless somebody has a plan to visit Somapura Mahavihara at Pahapur in the district of Naugaon and other places, or engage in a detailed study. It is believed that the location for the city in the area was decided upon because it is one of the highest areas in Bangladesh. The land in the region is almost 36 meters 118 feet above sea level whereas Dhaka the capital of Bangladesh is around 6 meters 20 feet above sea level Another reason for choosing this place was the position and size of the Karatoya which as recently as in the 13th century was 3 times wider than Ganges Mahasthangar stands on the red soil of the Barind tract which is slightly elevated within the largely alluvium area The elevation of 15 to 25 meters above the surrounding areas makes it a relatively flood free physiographic unit Topic. Discovery Several personalities contributed to the discovery and identification of the ruins at Mahasthangar. Francis Buchanan Hamilton was the first to locate and visit Mahasthangar in 1808, C. J. O'Donnell, E. V. Westmacott, and Beveridge followed. Alexander Cunningham was the first to identify the place as the capital of Pundravardhana. He visited the site in 1879. Topic: <inaudible> Citadel. The citadel, see map alongside the fortified heart of the ancient city, is rectangular in plan, measuring roughly 1.523 kilometers (0.946 miles) long from north to south, and 1.371 kilometers (0.852 miles) from east to west, with high and wide ramparts in all its wings. Area of the citadel is approximately 185 hectares. 
The Karatoya, once a mighty river but now a small stream, flows on its east. Till the 1920s, when excavations started, the inside of the citadel was higher than the surrounding areas by over 4 meters and was dotted with several straggling elevated pieces of land. The rampart looked like a jungle clad mud rampart with forced openings at several points. The rampart was 11 to 13 meters 36 to 43 feet higher than the surrounding area. At its southeast corner stood a mazar, holy tomb. A later day mosque built in 1718 to 19 was also there. At present there are several mounds and structural vestiges inside the fortifications. Of these a few of note are, Jiat Kunda well which, according to legends, has life-giving power, Mankala Dhap, place consecrated to Mankali, Parasurema Baskriha palace of a king named Parasuram, Beragir Beta palace of a female anchorite, Koda Pathar Beta place of stone bestowed by God, and Munir Gon a bastion. There are some gateways at different points, Kata Duar in the north, Dorab Shah Torin in the east, Bura Fatak in the south, and Tamra Dawaza in the west. At the northeastern corner there is a flight of steps a later addition that goes by the name of Jahajgata. A little beyond Jahajgata and on the banks of the Karatoya is Govinda Beta a temple dedicated to Govinda. In front of it is the site museum, displaying some of the representative findings. Beside it is a rest house. <inaudible> <inaudible> Suburb of the citadel Besides the fortified area, there are around a hundred mounds spread over an area with a radius of 9 km. See map alongside. Excavated mounds Gobhindo Beta, a temple close to the northeastern corner of the citadel Kulna Dhap, a temple one kilometer north of the citadel Mangalkot, a temple 400 meters south of Kulna Dhap Godaibari Dhap, a temple one kilometer south of Kulna Dhap Totaram Pandita Dhap, a monastery 4 km northwest of the citadel Norapatir Dhap Vashu Bihara, a group of monasteries 1 km northwest of Totaram Pandita Dhap said to be the place where Po Shi Po Bihara mentioned by Xuanzang was located Gokul Med Lokandora Bashor Ghor, a temple 3 km south of the citadel Shkonda Dhap, a temple 2 km southeast of Gokul Medmur unexcavated mounds Shiladebir Ghat Chanoru Digi Dhap Kaibalki Dhap Jurain Tala Porishurama Shobabati Balai Dhap Proshir Dibi Kanchir Hari Dibi Lahonar Dhap Kuja Dhap Doshatina Dhap Donaka Dhap Mondiria Dorga Bishmordana Dibi Malina Dhap Malpukuria Dhap Jogir Dhap Podmavatir Dhap Kanai Dhap Dulu Mojir Beta Poda Debhir Beta Rastala Dhap Shoshitola Dhap Donbandhor Dhap Chada Dhap Shindanath Dhap Shalaban Raja Kachribari Dhipi Kasha Angina Mongolnatha Dhap Chouto Tengra, Baba Dhap, Ketha Dhap, Bara Tengra, Shonyashir Dhap Excavations Systematic archaeological excavation of Mahasthangar was first started in 1928-29 under the guidance of K. N. Dixit of the Archaeological Survey of India. 
The areas around Jahajgata, Munirgon and Baragir Beta were explored. Excavation was resumed in 1934–36 at Baragir Beta and Govinda Beta. Excavation was carried out in 1960s around the Maza, Parasurema Prasad, Mankalir Dhap, Jiat Kunda and in a part of the northern rampart. In the next phase excavation was carried out sporadically in parts of the eastern north ramparts but the final report is yet to be published. In the period 1992–98 excavation was conducted in the area lying between Baragir Beta and the gateway exposed in 1991 as a Bangla Franco joint venture, which is now in its second phase with excavation around the Maza in the western side of the citadel. <laughs> <laughs> Movable antiquities The excavations have led to the recovery of a large number of items, a few of which are listed here. Inscriptions, a 4.4 cm by 5.7 cm limestone slab, bearing six lines in Prakrit in Brahmi script, discovered accidentally by a day labourer in 1931 was an important find. The text appears to be a royal order of Magga, possibly during the rule of Ahsoka. It dates the antiquity of Mahasthangar to 3rd century BC. An Arabic inscriptional slab of 1300–1301 discovered in 1911–12 mentions the erection of a tomb in honour of Numar Khan, who was Amir e Baha lieutenant of the naval fleet. A Persian inscriptional slab of 1718–19 records the construction of a mosque during the reign of the Mughal emperor Faruqsia. Coins, silver punch-marked coins are datable to a period between the 4th century BC and the 1st–2nd century AD. Some uninscribed copper cast coins have been found. Two Gupta period coins have been reported from a nearby village named Vamampara. A number of coins belonging to the sultans of 14th-15th century and British East India Company have been found, ceramics, mostly represented by a vast number of shards, sculpture, a 5th-century Buddha stone sculpture recovered from Vasu Vihara, a Loksvara stone sculpture showing blending of Vishnu and Avalokitsvara, salvaged from neighbouring Namuja village, a number sandstone door frames, pillars and lintels datable to 5th-12th century, numerous Buddha bronze sculpture datable to 10th-11th century, a terracotta surya discovered at Mankalir Beta, and numerous other pieces, terracotta plaques, a number of terracotta plaques have been discovered. Many of these are on display in the site museum, which is open Sunday to Thursday summer, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., winter, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Recess, 1 to 2 p.m. Friday recess is from 12.30 to 2.30, opens at 9 a.m. in summer, other timings same. Summer timings the 1st of April to the 30th of September, winter timings the 1st of October to the 30th of March. Books on Mahasthangar and other archaeological sites in Bangladesh in Bengali and English are available at the ticket counter for the site museum. Topic. Highlights of some excavated sites Topic. Inside the citadel Baragir Beta, constructed, reconstructed in four periods, 4th–5th century AD, 6th–7th century, 9th–10th century, and 11th century. Excavations have revealed impoverished base ruins resembling temples. Two sculptured sandstone pillars have been recovered, Kodapatha Beta, some pieces of stone carved with transcendent Buddha along with devotees in Anjali kneeling with folded hands recovered, Parasurema Prasad, contains remains of three occupation periods 8th century AD findings include stone Visnupata of Pala period, 15th-16th century findings include some glazed shreds of Muslim origin, and the third period has revealed two coins of the 
British East India Company issued in 1835 and 1853, Mankala at Dhap, terracotta plaques, bronze Ganesha, bronze Garuda etc. were discovered. Base ruins of a 15 domed mosque 15th, 16th century was revealed. Bangla Franco joint venture excavations have revealed 18 archaeological layers, ranging from 5th century BC to 12th century AD, till virgin soil at a depth of around 17 metres. <laughs> Outside the citadel Govinda Beta, situated 185 metres northeast of Jahajgata and opposite the site museum. Remains dated from 3rd century BC to 15th century AD. Base remains of two temples have been exposed, Totaram Pandita Dhap, situated in the village Vihara, about 6 km northwest of the citadel. Structural remains of a damaged monastery have been exposed. Narapatir Dhap, situated in the village Basu Vihara, 1.5 km northwest of Totaram Pandita Dhap. Base remains of two monasteries and a temple have been exposed. Cunningham identified this place as the one visited by Xuanzang in the 7th century AD. Gokul Med, also known as Bahula Basagar or Lakshindera Med, situated in the village Gokul, 3 km to the south of the citadel, off the Bogra Rangpur Road, connected by a narrow motorable road about 1 km. Excavations in 1934–36 revealed a terraced podium with 172 rectangular blind cells. It is dated 6th–7th century. Local mythology associates it with legendary Lakshmandara Behula. The village Gokul also has several other mound Kansr Dhap has been excavated, Skanda Dhap, situated in village Baghopara on the Bogra Rangpur Road, 3.5 km to the south of the citadel, a sandstone kartika was found and structural vestiges of a damaged building were revealed. It is believed to be the remains of Skanda Mandira temple consecrated to Kartika, mentioned in Karatoya Mahatmya, as well as Kalhan's Rajatarangan, written in 1149–50. There also are references to Skandnagara as a suburb of Pundranagara. Baghopara village has three other mounds, Kulna Dhap, situated in village Chengaspur, 700 metres west of the northwest corner of the citadel has revealed remains of a temple. The mound is named after Kulana, wife of Chan Sadaga. From the present findings it can be deduced that there was a city called Pundravardhana at Mahasthangar with a vast suburb around it, on all sides except the east, where the once mighty Karatoya used to flow. It is evident that the suburbs of Pundravardhana extended at least to Baghopara on the southwest, Gokul on the south, Vamampara on the west, and Secundrabad on the north. However, the plan of the city and much of its history are still to be revealed. Bhima Jangal This well-known embankment starts from the northeast corner of Bogra town and proceeds northwards for about 30 miles to a marshy place called Damakdaya Bit, under police station Govindaganj Rangpur district, and it is said, goes oil to Goragat. It is made of the red earth of the locality and retains at places even now a height of 20 feet above the level of the country. There is a break ill it of over 3 miles from Dorlatpur northwest of Mahasthan Garh to Hazaradigi southwest of it About a mile south of Hazaradigi the stream Subal approaches the jangle and runs alongside it down to Bogra town some people think that the subal is a moat formed by digging the earth for the jangle but as there is no embankment on the northern reach of the subal now called the Atto Nala, which merges in the Kaladaha Bill, north of Mahasthan Garh O'Donnell was probably right in saying that the subal represents the western of the two branches into which the Karatoya divided above Mahasthan. On the Bogra Hazradigi section of the jangle, there are two cross embankments running down to the Karatoya, about 2 miles and 4 miles respectively north of Bogra town, and there is a diagonal embankment connecting these cross bonds and then running along the Karatoya until it meets the main embankment near Bogra. 
This jangle or embankment appears to have been of a military character, thrown up to protect the country on its east. The break raw Mahasthan may be due to the embankment having been washed away or to the existence of natural protection by the bit. The Bhima to whom the embankment is ascribed may be the Kaivata chief of the 11th century who according to the Ramcharitam ruled over Varendra in succession to his father Rudraka and uncle Divyoka, who had ousted King Marapala II of the Pala, dynasty. Bhima in his turn was defeated in battle and built by Ramapala. Mahipala's son. Jogir Barban south west of Bagtahali beyond Chak Barayapara and some three miles west of the Ketlal Road is a settlement of the Natha sect of Saiva Sannyasis, known as Yogir Bhavan, forming the eastern section of Aurora village. An account of this settlement is given by Beveridge, J. 1, St. 1878, p. 94. It occupies about so biggers of land and forms the headquarters of the sect, of which there are branches at Yogigafa and Garak Kui, both in the Dinajpur district, the former in its southwest part some five miles west of Pahapur, JASB 1875, p. 189, and the latter in its northwest part some four miles west of Nekmarden. The shrines at Yogir Bhavan are situated in the southwest corner of an enclosure or math. One of them called Dharma Dungi, bears a brick inscription, reading Scrvva Siddha Sana 1148 Shri Suphala. The year equals 1741 AD. In front of it is another shrine called Backquote Gadiga, where a fire is kept burn at all hours. Outside the enclose are four temples, dedicated respectively to Kalabai Rava, Sarvamangala Durga and Garakshanatha. The Kalavarava temple contains a Deva Linga and bears a brick inscription reading Sri Ramasiddha Sana 1173 Sala equals 1766 AD Ample Sri Nara Narayana. The Sava Mangala temple contains three images of Hara Gauri, one of Mahishamadini, a fragment of an Ashta Matrika slab, a fragment of a three-faced female figure probably Ushnashavajava Sadhanamala, 2, place 14, and a four-armed female figure playing on a veena evidently Sarasvati, but worshipped here as Sava Mangala. Over the entrance is a brick inscription reading 1089 Meha Natha Sadaka Shri Avirama Mehetara the year equals 1681 AD. In the Durga temple is a stone image of Chamunda, and in the Garakshanatha one, a Shiva Liga. There are three brick-built samadhis near the latter temple. Aurora southwest of the Dadhishuga and standing on the Masandigi, in Aurora village, is Salvan Raja Bari referred to under Bagahali. This Sylvan may possibly be the same as King Salavan, son of Sahila Deva of the Chumba inscription who won the title of Kari Gata Varsha equals Hunjara Gata Varsha, R. C. Majumdar, Vanj Kambojadakara, Vanga Rani, Chaitara, 1330, BSP, 251, IND. Ant, 17, pp. 7 13. Beveridge refers to this mound in Yar, SB, 1878, p. 95. This name of Sahila seems to occur again in Sahiladitya Laxmam in V, 10 of the Salimpal R inscription. EP. IND, 13, p. 291. If this identification is correct, then the word Kaunyanragatakashtna in the Bangar stone inscription Gauda Raja Mala, p. 35 is really the title or virada of the Gudapati of the Kumboja family and not the date of the inscription. Tega north of Chandnia that the road skirts the bill and comes to Tega village which juts out into the bill near about here are several mounds, such as Nara's Patir Dhap. Kasha Angina or glazed courtyard, a term applied to many ruins in these parts etc. The biggest of these mounds, Mangal Natha Dhap, Fig. 6 is situated close to the point, from which a road branches off to Bihar. It is said that terracotta plaques as well as stone images were found at this site, but were all consigned to the neighboring digi.
Rojakpur proceeding westward along the road from Gokul to Haripur, we pass into the western arm of the latter village, already referred to, and meet the Bogra Ketlal Road near the Chandnia Hat. West of Haripur and south of the Somrai Bill is the village of Rojakpur, into which, as already stated, the elevated ground from Chandnia Hat extends. On this ground are two mounds called respectively Chanvita probably referring to the Manasar legend and Danvandar. A little further west is another mound called Singinath Dhap. Mathura east of Bamanpara and extending up to the Garh on the east and the Kaladaha Bill on the north, is the village of Mathura, in which there are several tank and on a ridge overlooking the Gilatala moat, two mounds called Parasurema Savabhati and Yogir Dhap. Topic. Threats to Mahasthangar In a 2010 report titled Saving Our Vanishing Heritage, Global Heritage Fund identified Mahasthangar as one of 12 worldwide sites most on the verge of irreparable loss and damage, citing insufficient management poor water drainage in particular and looting as primary causes. Topic. Anecdote There is a local legend that Shah Sultan Balki Mahisawar arrived at Pundravardhana in the garb of a fakir mystic holy peddler of Islamic philosophy riding a fish. Mahisawar is Persian word meaning a person who rides a fish. He came from Balk in Afghanistan with a retinue. The period of his arrival is variably put at 5th century AD, 11th century AD and 17th century AD. At that time there was a king named Parasuram with his seat and palace in Mahasthangar. Mahisawar requested Parasuram for a piece of land to spread his prayer mat on which he could pray. The request was granted but the prayer mat started expanding as soon as it was laid on the ground. When the prayer mat reached the area around the palace bewildered Parasuram declared war. In the beginning the battle seemed to be favoring Parasuram. A scavenger Harapala informed Mahisawar that it was difficult to defeat the royal troops because of the pool called Jiat Kunda. A dead soldier bathed in the waters of Jiat Kunda came back to life. On knowing this Mahisawar asked a kite to drop a piece of beef in Jiat Kunda. When this was done, the pool lost its powers. The royal troops were on the verge of defeat. The commander of the royal troops, Chilin, with a large number of his followers, went over to Mahisawar. Thereafter Parasuram and many members of the royal family committed suicide. There are many variations of this anecdote, some of which are sold in Bengali booklets in and around Mahasthangar, Pundravardhana. Topic. Some antiquity comparisons Mahasthangar dates back to at least 3rd century BC and is acknowledged as the earliest city site so far discovered in Bangladesh. Somapura Mahavihara at Pahapur in Nalgaon district was once the biggest Buddhist monastery south of the Himalayas. It dates from the 8th century AD. Minamati ruins in Kamila district date back to 6th-13th centuries AD. In neighboring West Bengal, the ruins of Pandu Raja Dibi on the banks of the Aj River in Bardaman district date back to 2000 BC. However, this recent archaeological discovery has not yet been properly studied by outside experts and specialists in this field, and as such the historical value of many of the statements must be considered as uncertain. The ruins at Chandraketugar in 24 Parganas south and Rajbadadanga in Murshidabad district date back to the early years of the Christian era. <inaudible> <inaudible> Buddhist Viharas Somapura Vihara Halid Vihara Vasu Vihara Ananda Vihara Satako Vihara 
Topic Gallery Topic See also Somapura Mahavihara Kantaju Temple Shabazz Khan Mosque Shona Mosque Bagha Mosque Khan Muhammad Imrida Mosque Sixty Dome Mosque Sart Masjid Lalbar Fort <laughs>